My name is Maciej and I'm excited to share with you about an innovative data streaming platform that we've been working on in getting data. If you're interested in the world of data analytics or curious about how SQL can be made incredibly user-friendly for forward-thinking platforms, you've come to the right place. Getting Data has built a platform that has numerous building blocks, yet remains user-friendly, easy to maintain, scale and document. No matter whether you're an experienced data engineer or business user, a key part of the platform is the Streaming Analytics Workbench, which is designed to cover the entire workflow from prototyping, schema definitions and pre-processing steps to the final streaming application query, allowing you to write Flink SQL and Python Flink applications in Jupyter Notebook. It lets you prototype the application without any installation on a local computer as it operates on a remote host. The workbench is equipped with a local Flink server and allows you to use an external Flink server and run your application there if needed. Additionally, once you are confident with your prototype, it can deploy into Notebook as a Python code using a streaming CLI. During this overview, I will present a live demonstration that leverages the capabilities of getting the workbench. You will see firsthand how to compose a real-time analytics solution that effortlessly merges data from multiple sources such as a database and Kafka streams. Stay tuned for the demo to see your application in action. In this demo, I will be showcasing a real-life streaming application based only on SQL queries, using Apache Flink and Jupyter Notebook. The application continuously collects data from various sources, including click streams and transactional data related to user transactions on a bank website. These streams provide insights into user behavior, such as how long they stay on the website and details of their banking transactions. Two more data sources are coming from databases. One provides real-time account balances for clients, while the other gives information about client loans. The application works in real-time, combining all these streams and waiting for specific scenarios to occur. For instance, it monitors when a user visits a loan, offer page and stays there for a significant duration. It also keeps track of the user's account balance and if it falls below a certain threshold or if recent transactions suggest a need for a loan, it indicates a possible financial strain. Let's take a look at the application itself. The first step is to create a new Python project in Jupyter, which is based on a template. Now let's input our call. One file is for a data preparation and the second one contains the code for the application. The first part of the application is related to defining input tables. The click stream table is an abstraction of Kafka topic. The table definition contains information about the columns and connection details. It also defines a watermark to track the progress of time. In a similar way, we define the transaction table as well as the balance and loans tables, which this time are fetching the data from Postgres database. For the database source, we also define a watermark that will be used to join data at a given period. Further, we define a few views that simplify the model by removing unnecessary columns. To find out when a user stays on a long page for more than a minute, we create a simple applications view by selecting ID and timestamp from Clickstream, where the screen is long and there's no other screen activity for the same ID within a one minute interval. Finally, we combine application, transactions and loans into a single view of events combined with a balance. The core of the application is the SQL query that defines a few events. Transaction represents a financial transaction exceeding 1000 euro. An event, application one, visiting and staying on the long page within the last three days. Application two, visiting and staying on the long page within the last week and having a balance below 100 euro. Any event, but not long event. Now, considering this event definition, we define a pattern that allow us to find matching events. As a result, after passing sample data, we will receive an event in the output Kafka topic named scenario one sync. As you can see in this demonstration, I used only SQL queries to write a pretty complex application. Now, using just a single command, I can push this application to the existing Kubernetes cluster. 
that will execute the job, for example, in production. To achieve automatic deployment, you will need to set up a CI-CD workflow. A typical scenario assumes the developer pushes code changes to the Git repository. Then, based on the Git actions, the code is being deployed to the Kubernetes cluster. GitHub tools for Kubernetes, such as Argo CD, will notice a code change and deploy your application to the cluster automatically. To better understand how easy it is to create and deploy notebook application, let's see an example. I will build application manually. At first, you need to build your application. It converts a notebook to a Python code and create a Docker image. Then you need to deploy the application to the pre-configured cluster. To do that, run make deploy command. This will deploy the application using the Docker image on Kubernetes cluster. As you can see, a new job has appeared and also we can see that the job is already up and running. Mm -hmm.